Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Hello everybody. I'm going to start a new series today where I talk about the latest breaking news in the world of diet, nutrition, physiology, and health. Are you ready? Awesome. Today's video is about zero calorie sweeteners, whether they be artificial like aspartame or sucralose or natural like stevia. So I'm going to talk about how zero calorie sweeteners actually rewire your brain. Yeah, it's scary stuff. There was a study that was just published in the Journal of Physiology and Behavior, and it was done at the University of San Diego in California. They took groups of students and scanned their brains using fMRI technology and looked at the differences in brain activity of the students consuming drinks with zero calorie sweeteners and consuming drinks uh, with normal sweeteners that actually have calories in them. And the differences in these students' brains from the zero calorie to the calorie rich drinks was shocking. In these brain scans, the part of the brain that showed the biggest difference between the zero calorie and the sweetened drinks was an area called the caudate head. Now, it's involved in signaling reward and controlling food intake. So, this is an important part of the brain if you're trying to lose weight and minimize cravings. When the students were consuming the zero calorie drinks, the caudate head had reduced activity. And when they consumed the sugar drinks, the caudate head had an increased level of activity because it was signaling reward. But with the zero calorie drinks, it was not signaling reward. So even though the students were consuming something sweet, that sweetness was no longer a reliable indicator of calories. So the brain had to modify itself and said, hey, we're getting something sweet, but we're not getting calories, so let's ignore the sweetness signal. And what this does is it causes them to consume more calories throughout the day. Because normally when you're consuming things that are sweet and there are calories attached to that sweetness, the caudate head signals reward and tells the brain, we are happy, we are satisfied, we've gotten enough energy. But when sweetness doesn't represent calories, the caudate head activity goes down and it doesn't give that reward signal. So the brain's like, wait a minute, okay, sweet's coming in, but let's just ignore the sweet, we need calories. So it caused these people to consume more calories throughout the day. And they're thinking now that this is one of the reasons that people that consume a lot of diet soda actually gain weight. Because they're training their brain not to respond to sweetness. They consume so much diet soda that it rewires the brain. And then when they do consume something that actually has sweet calories, the brain doesn't register the sweetness. And they quickly gain weight. So be very careful of zero calorie foods and drinks, even if they're sweetened with stevia. It may be a natural substance, but it can cause the brain to actually rewire itself and no longer respond to the sweetness signal. All right, so there you go. Let me know what you think of this study. All right, peace out.